Welcome to the Cathedral of Science, or down into cyberspace, or what you like. I'm here to talk about this space, which is not so much about the future of energy today, but sort of the future of energy in the past. Because this was the site for Sweden's first nuclear reactor. And how come they started to build nuclear reactors? The really first large-scale experiment, oh, sorry, was made by Enrico Fermi in Chicago in 1942. It was big secret, no cameras were allowed. This is uh, an oil painting that one of the people who were there did afterwards to uh, some way document the thing. And this led to the Manhattan Project and the bombs, but also nuclear power f for energy. So after the Second World War, people gathered in Sweden, people from the military, power consumers, power producers. What shall we do about this new energy form? We must research. We must do research about this. We must build a research reactor. So where shall we build it? We build it under the Royal Institute of Technology. Because they have scientists there, they have contacts, and they have possibilities. So they made a hole in the mountainside, 13,000 cubic meters of Swedish rock. And you went all down the stairs. The stairs are to the right in this image. And we are now in the main reactor hall. And this was done in the beginning of the 1950s. And in 1954, the reactor uh, started. Uh, this is the control room, which you can see on the other side of the big glass screen over there. Uh, this is a control table. This one is uh, working by itself, some kind of energy down here, possibly. So this is what it looked like. This is the official picture. Uh, this is a private picture of the reactor operator. But of course, uh, when everything was working with the reactor, it was not so much to do. This is the last people working here in 1970. And as you can see, the reactor, there were, uh, you could open passages into the reactor. I think there's a time limit to the slide change, possibly. So uh, you could get radiations or uh, neutrons and uh, measure things with them and do different kind of, uh, of experiments. But in 1970, it was shut down. It was a very, very small reactor. They didn't do anything with the effect. It was cooled away. Uh, the effect was from the beginning 300 kilowatts. And before they shut it down, one megawatt. So it, in effect, it was not so much. Uh, there was some effort. What shall we do now with this site? Shall we keep it or shall we take it apart? The decision was made to tear it apart. It was done in 1982, when I was a student here at the university. I had no idea about this. And to the right, you can see the location as it is to now with the concrete pit where the reactor once was. And after this, uh, it became silent. Nothing happened for many, many years. It happened occasionally that KTH students went down here and had parties without permission. But what we do now is that we use it as an um, experimental performance space, a creative meeting space for different kinds of activities, where we also want to uh, live up to our motto, science and the arts, Wetenskap och Konst. So we have many collaboration projects with the other university colleges around here, for dance and circus, for opera, music, and later on you might see parts of that collaboration. So that was a short story about this space, but I will also be around during the day and ask questions to me and I will try to answer them. Thank you very much.